let's create a golden silver metallic text using layer styles so first we'll create a document so we will uh, select an A4 size landscape document we'll just rename it gold and silver and we will create the document we will fill the document with black color black is an attractive background for this metallic text so now let's select the type tool and let's type gold and uh, we will uh, type in capitals right we will select a font times new roman bold and we will increase the text size so let's keep it to let's say 160 right let's keep text at the center right let's double click on the right side of the text layer to open the layer styles then in layer styles we'll first apply a gradient to this particular text so we'll select the gradient overlay and we'll first reset all the values we'll start from the scratch so here we have the gradient just we'll click on it so we have to find the proper colors for the gold so here are the colors so we need to use these values for the colors so here we have to use a cream color which has a value of FAC 778 we'll copy this and we'll just double click on this slider and we'll paste that particular color value in this input field right and for this slider we'll select light orange color which is F59206 we'll simply copy this and we'll double click on this slider and we will paste in this input field right and then we will change the style of gradient to reflected instead of linear so we can see and make sure that the cream color is at the center and the dark color which is a light orange color is at the corners right now we will turn on the bevel and emboss and we will reset all the values and we will start applying these values from the top here we have the structure section in the structure section we will first change the technique to chisel half and then we will increase the depth we will increase the depth to maximum we will also increase the size to its maximum value so we can now see some changes and then we will move on to the shading section in the shading section we will first turn off the use global light and we will also change the angle here so we can uh, keep the angle value to uh, a value between minus 140 to minus 180 right then the most important option the critical option here which will give some reflections to the text so that option is inside this gloss contour so we will select these gloss contour options and here we have the option which is ring double so immediately we can see some reflections on the text right and then here we have the highlight mode we will change the highlight mode from screen to linear dodge linear dodge will add some extra brightness to the text so we can already see here we will increase the opacity to maximum and uh, we don't want the brightness to be in white color we want the brightness to be in yellow color so we will simply click on this color box to open the color picker and we will select a pure yellow color so we can now see the change so now we have created a golden metallic look and uh, we can enhance it further we can just uh, slightly increase the opacity here for the shadow mode and now we can clearly see the golden metallic look and now we will enhance this golden metal look even further we will just take a duplicate of this text layer 
We'll simply hit Control J in PC or Command J in Mac. Now we will remove the layer styles for the bottom text layer. We'll simply right click on the effects and select Clear Layer Style. Right. And now we'll double click on this text layer and uh, here we will uh, select the stroke. So we can see. So we have selected the stroke. We will slightly increase the size and we will change the position of the stroke to outside. We will uh, just reduce the size here. The size should not be too much. Uh, okay, somewhere uh, around 13 to 14 pixels is okay. Then the next most important uh, thing is we have to use the same cream color and light orange and uh, that is why we have to use a gradient for the stroke. So we'll simply select the gradient. Right. And then we will use the same cream color and light orange. I have just saved these values here. So we'll simply copy this and we will just double click on the slider and we will paste. Right. And for this one, we'll again uh, copy this uh, value. We'll double click on the right slider and then just paste. Paste the light orange value. Right. And again, for the stroke also, we will change the style to reflected and make sure that the center color is light. Right. And now we'll turn on the bevel and emboss. And here we don't have to change anything. We only have to change one setting here. That one setting is here in the style. The default option is inner bevel. Instead of inner bevel, we will use stroke emboss. So we can see immediately we can see some change, but we are not able to see the stroke here. We can slightly change the angle value. So now we can see the stroke and uh, one more thing that we can do is we'll just turn on the contour here and in contour we have the contour options and in contour also again we will use the same option which is rain double. We can see the stroke how it is changing and here we will also increase the range value range value to maximum. So we can see we have achieved the golden metallic layer style. We'll add some extra attraction to this. We'll simply take a new layer above the golden text layer. Then we will select a brush. We will also change the blending mode to linear dodge. We will just click on the foreground color and we will just uh, pick a color from this metal or uh, we will pick a yellow color so something uh, like a uh, yellowish color okay in between yellow and orange right now here we have some flare brushes and uh, i will provide the link for this particular flare brush in the description so we will select flare 38 from this uh, list of uh, flare brushes and now we will keep the flow value to around uh, let's say 90% and here the blending mode has to be linear dodge and now we will slightly increase the size of the brush we can also change its angle and i will just click on this letter o once so we can see there is one nice flare on this letter o we can also add one flare on letter D. So you can see here. So something like this. And we can just add one flare on letter G. But this time we will make it a little bit small. So this much is okay. So we can see we have added flares to this golden metal. Now we will quickly complete the silver metal. It's very simple. We have already done the gold we don't have to do everything uh, for the silver again we just have to type the silver word we'll just open the layer styles and we'll start with the bevel and emboss here we will change uh, the stroke emboss to inner bevel and we will change the gradient here 
and we will change the gradient to a silver gradient. We will select a light gray and a dark gray. So this is the gradient. We only have to change the gradient. The remaining settings are similar to that of gold. Right. And we will also do one more thing. We will also add an extra stroke to this uh, silver and uh, we have forgotten to change one setting here. So in bevel and emboss, the color for linear dot is yellow. We don't want yellow. We will keep uh, white for the highlight mode. So because for silver, we want white color highlights. Right. So now what we'll do, we'll take a duplicate of this silver text layer and we'll select the bottom uh, silver text layer. We'll remove its layer styles. Simply we'll right click on the effects and select clear layer style. And then we will just double click on this silver text layer. We'll select the stroke and this time we will change the color to light gray and dark gray. And uh, then we will turn on the Babylon emboss here and we'll keep the settings same but we have to change one setting here that is instead of uh, inner bevel for the style we will change the style to stroke emboss so we can see here and if you want to clearly see the stroke we have to change the angle here now we can clearly see the stroke and then just like the gold we have to turn on the contour here and we will select the ring double for the contour and also we will increase the range value so now we can see we got the silver metallic look right now just like the gold we will take a new layer above the text layer we will change the foreground color to pure white we will change the blending mode to linear dodge we will select a brush we will select the same uh, flare brush and we will make sure that the flow is 90% and uh, we will just add some flares to this silver metal or silver metallic text so just we have to increase the size of this brush and just uh, we can uh, add the flares to one or two or three letters something like this This is the gold and silver metallic layer style in Photoshop.